Now it's time to do our home map. So when you think about your house, what we're going to do is now I'm going to show you my house. So don't don't do what I'm doing because yours looks different than mine. But I'm going to show you um, how to do this pretty quickly and just thinking about how your house looks. So the first thing I'm going to put on here for the key is the door. And you probably are going to want to have a door on yours, too, because that's where you walk through when you get home. So I'm going to put this as a door. This is like the walls and then the opening that I walk through. You probably want to put door on your paper too. So when I go home, I walk through the door right here. So I'm going to say that that's the front door. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is draw the different rooms in our house. So over here, when I walk into the door, over here is, and then I'm going to label it here because I'm not going to put it in my key because I only use it one time, Elsie's Playroom. Okay, and then we have another room here. And this is the living room. And then if I move it over here, this is a bathroom and then a bedroom. And then we have more bedrooms over here. Okay, so these are all bedrooms. This is a bathroom. Bedroom. Here's the kitchen. Bedroom. Bedroom bedroom and then I think the key things I'm going to put on here probably are going to be like the couch which is going to be like this couch and then maybe some chairs so I'm going to make this a chair and then how about a bed I'm going to try to make a bed any other key things maybe like the table kitchen table and then Mr. Metcalf's TV we could do that okay and remember the things that we draw in our key are the main things and then that they should look different they should not all be like rectangles or circles because you have to be able to tell the difference between what they are so we know that up here this is the door um, we have a couch in the living room I'm gonna draw my couch this is kind of in the way um, Let's see, chair. I have some chairs over here at our kitchen table. And then we have a chair here, like a lounge chair. We have a chair in here for Elsie's playroom. Okay, let me see what else I put on here. Oh, bed. So there's a bed in here. There's Elsie's bed in here. She actually has a crib, but I'll go ahead and mark it as a bed and then another bed is in here okay i already put our table and then tv is what's left so i'm gonna put the tv in the living room okay and then you could add i don't know what else you would add but you may just want to have the same labels and then these are just the dividing into the um, bedroom so just try your best think about where you're at when you walk into your room, when you walk into your house or your apartment, what do you see? And then make the different rooms divided up. Okay, just try your best. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you may want to take these things because these are the main things that you probably have in your house too as your key. And then you can go from there. Okay, try your best. Good job, guys. And then you can click the next arrow.